Diagnosing a crank but no start condition caused by a faulty junction box electronics JBE failure. The vehicle will exhibit no spark and no fault code stored. Working at the valve cover, disconnect the ignition coil electrical connectors. Turn the key on with the engine off. Check for battery positive voltage at coil terminal 3, green wire. Power is shared by all coils via splice X696. If battery positive voltage is not present at the coil, confirm fuse 10 in underhood fuse panel is intact and has battery positive volts. If fuse is intact and battery positive volts is present, check power at the DME. Locate DME connector X60004, terminal 1, red green wire. Check for battery positive voltage at terminal 1. Battery positive volt should be present. If no voltage is found at DME connector, relay K6326 function is checked next. Locate relay K6326 in the underhood fuse panel. Remove the relay and install a relay testing breakout. Install the relay into the relay testing breakout. Check Relay Terminal 3 for battery positive volts. If battery positive voltage is not present, move on to the next step. Once confirmed, check for Relay Coil Control at Relay Terminal 6. If no Relay Coil Control is found, the JBE is not activating the relay. The JBE should ground Terminal 6. The voltage should go from about battery positive volts to close to zero volts. If no relay control is found, the JBE is not activating the relay. To confirm the JBE is at fault, attach a temporary fused ground to relay terminal 6. Check for battery positive volts at ignition coil terminal 3, green wire. If battery positive volts is now present, the JBE is at fault. 